Technology. Kevin Hernandez joins us live from Old Sacramento where he's giving it a try. Hey, Kevin. Yes, we're at Old City Kites checking out some amazing kites, and we're also checking out some uh, techniques on how to get them in the air because I have not flown a kite since I was probably 10 years old. Let me tell you, it wasn't as easy as I remember it to be. <laughs> but really quick, I believe we have a song to go with remember this segment. Technique. So cue that up. Let's, hear, let's play the song. <laughs> and while we're doing that, we're going to talk to Anwar here. Now, you've been here with Old City Kites for over 20 years. So tell us about some of the kites and the different ways that you can actually start um, using less wind to get them up in the air. Mostly you can fly any delta kite or diamond kite. You mm -hmm. can fly very easily. You don't need too much wind. Every if you're not unexperienced, fly between 10 miles to 15 miles per hour when you can fly any kite. And best way to launch, let them out 100 feet your line, kite nose up, pull your line, instantly it go up in the air. If you don't know how to jet the wind, when you see a flag up, it's 10 mile to 15 mile per hour wind, you can fly anything. When you see big trees swinging back and forth, 18 wheeler have a fish tail, too much wind. Now, for first time kite buyers, what should they be looking for? Very simple kite, you can fly a diamond shaped kite. For example, we have right here. You look in this uh, octopus right here. Or you can fly a delta shape, anything is triangle, like this patchwork. Those called delta shape kite, they are very easy to fly, very easy to launch. Now, speak, well, speaking, speaking of octopus kites, yeah. we have ours outside still, yeah. all right? So I want to head out there because you actually tied it up to your truck and you have it still flying, even though we're not the ones operating it. Yeah, I hope it's still there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's hope that it's still there. Okay, let's go out here and check it out and see. Okay, let's check it out. It is still out there. It is way up there. How high would you say that is? About 300 feet. 300 feet. Okay. So now show, show the people at home some techniques on how to properly fly a kite because I will admit that the first time I was flying this, I got it stuck in the tree right here. So how do we get, how, how do we keep it from getting stuck on a roof or Let's on a tree? Let's try again. Very simple way. Hold your kite about 100 feet down and pull your line quickly, hand over hand like a, this motion and kite going instantly up and then you feed the line and it goes up in the air. So here I show you a simple way. When let's say you're trying to you know feed your kite, your line, slowly keep this tension right in your finger and thumb. See how easily it's going and very steady and kite is not have a, a quick reaction like you're giving too much slack. So that's a simple way to do it. When you want to bring down your kite, like up there, if you're rolling your line back and forth on your spool, simple way you want to do this way, bring your kite line hand over hand and walk. So see your line in a several, you know, loop. Right, right. You're not making a tangle either. If you want to feed him again, it go up back over there. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, you know, um, it is actually perfect uh, kite flying weather today, which is funny because it's, you know, June. Who would have thought? But it's beautiful out here today. So if people want to come check you out, you're 1017 Front Street. When are you, what are the uh, hours of operation? Mostly 1030 to 637 days. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So again, let's go fly a kite day. Come on, guys. Check out Old City Kite. Buy a kite. See if you can get it higher than 300 feet. So we'll send it on back to you guys. <laughs> it looks like it almost lifted you off the ground there for a second. Like pulling them away. All right, it is National Take Your Cat on an Adventure 